Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is review time once again, and today I'm going to go about and review the brilliant film, The Inbetweeners Movie. Now, The Inbetweeners happens to be a British TV sitcom that's been going since the year 2008, and the show has had a great amount of success since it started, spanning over three seasons with 18 episodes, and has gained a lot of critical success from critics and a lot of its fans as well. Its fan base is huge, and so with the fourth season of The Inbetweeners being highly unlikely, what better way to sign off the characters of the series than to go about and create a movie? And here we have the Inbetweeners movie. Now obviously this isn't the first time that a TV series has been adapted into a film adaptation. And in fact there have been several films that have done this over the course of time. And obviously they haven't been limited to the comedy genre. But when most comedy films happen to have a TV series and then go into a film adaptation, chances are most times it will suck. So I went into seeing the Inbetweeners film with a slightly open mind but only expected to laugh a few times. But man was I wrong, the Inbetweeners film was incredible, it was funny, it was hilarious, it was in your face and it was just brilliant. I probably haven't laughed as much since I saw Scott Pilgrim vs the World and that was funny but this is just immensely funny. It is unreal. Basically the plot of the film takes place sometime after season 3 with our main boys Will, Jay, Simon and Neil finishing up school and then deciding to go on a mental holiday to Crete and what ensues is a crazy holiday full of adventure, sun, see sex and drinking among other things and to be honest it is exactly what it says in the tin if you've seen the trailer you know what to expect from the film but it is so much more than that there is so much more laughs the film is just relentless in how much comedy it can throw at you it was just wow i am just still in shock from seeing the film just a few hours ago it was in, it was madness now the four main cast members from the tv series obviously return in this film and simon bird joe thomas James Buckley and Blake Harrison do a fantastic job as our main boys, Will, Simon, Jay and Neil. They all have their individual personalities and all bring their funny little quirks to the film, but it's just on the extreme. If you are a fan of the Inbetweeners show, then you will definitely get a kick out of watching this film. It is exactly like the TV show, except just in a different location and on a bigger scale. And it is just lovely. Simon Bird, as usual, as Will, always happens to be pulling such strange facial expressions and happens to be making such awkward conversations. It is just wonderful. And as per usual, Jay happens to have the most laughs, in my opinion, as he happens to say some of the most strangest, weirdest, funniest, and filthiest things I've ever heard. It is just unnatural, but this guy gives me jokes. Never before have I heard so many strange things in a film that I'd actually want to quote outside of the film. And the rest of the cast in the film are just incredible as well, all offering us different forms of laughter and enjoyment, and it is just wonderful. Now, the Inbetweeners film happens to be one of those sort of movies where you can actually appreciate British humour. It is just killer, and some of the stuff that is just said is just unforgettable. And I can imagine after watching this film the first time, going back to see it many, many times after that, because there is so much to enjoy. So overall, I'd give the Inbetweeners movie about an 8.5 out of 10. It is all laughs everywhere. It is loud, proud, and in your face, and it is just over the top. It is great. And while some people may complain about the emotional aspects of the film, I thought it was wonderful. It was a lot funnier than I thought it'd be, and it was just the best comedy I've seen in the cinema for quite some time. So yeah, that has been my review, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you found it informative, and as always, look forward to the next one when it shows up. So until the next time, this is the Hypersonic 55, signing out.